Hey there, welcome to On Top and Hot. I'm John Zadar and this is Monday, October 17th. Now as we do on every show, we're going to look at OTC and penny stocks. Hot OTC and penny stocks. I am looking for companies that have potential to bring us some good gains. Now maybe those gains are going to come quick, maybe they're going to come down the road. In either case, these are companies you need to be paying attention to. Now we are going to be looking at stocks on the OTC market and penny stocks. No, I'm not repeating myself. A penny stock can easily be on the major exchange because a penny stock is any stock under five bucks. There's a ton of those on the OTC as well as the major exchanges. So don't be surprised if I pull up a NASDAQ penny stock. But most of the stocks we look at are on the OTC market. I do a lot of research with them. Matter of fact, that's news all from the OTC market. That's about a week's worth right there, and I've read all of that. There's no public offerings in there. There's no financials. This is the good news, the mergers, the acquisitions, the joint ventures, expansion, stuff like that. So dive on in there. The oldest is up at the top. The newest is at the bottom. I put that all together for you, so don't just glance over it. Take your time with it, folks. Now, when I do my research on OTC penny stocks, this is where I come. It saves me a lot of time, folks, and it's going to save you a lot of time. This is the only site that I know of on the entire internet that is updated every single day for every single OTC stock, and it's updated by the people that matter, the SEC and FINRA. So why go running around looking for information? You don't do that in your house for milk. You go right to where the milk's at, and you know where it's at. This is where the milk's at for the stocks, the otcmarkets.com website. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how the OTC market finished today. I'm going to go ahead and refresh these numbers manually because they do not refresh automatically. Hopefully we get a bump. No bumps. All right, our dollar volume, we are at $1.8 billion. Not great. Uh, I used to say our average was $2.1 billion, but we haven't been there in over a month. So I guess that's not our average anymore. Somewhere around here is our average now. Share volume, it fell again. We are under $10 billion at $8.9 billion. Uh, this month, I think so far, we've broke the $10 billion barrier three times, which is more than we've done in a year. So hopefully, we're going to see this start coming back up again. It would be nice. Our trades, we're just hovering right there where we always do between 250 and 300,000 shares. So there's really not a whole lot going on across the entire market. However, there's always stocks jumping and bumping out there. Stocks catching attention from the investors. And I got a few of those for you right now. Come on, I'll show you what I got. Hey, what do you know? First stock we're looking at is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. This is ticker ACOR, Corda Therapeutics. Now, they had some real juicy news come out yesterday, and today the investors are showing their love. That chart is burning up. They finished the day just under 90 cents with over 167% gains. Now, because ACOR is on the NASDAQ, there is a minimum bid price requirement. They cannot have their price under a dollar for too long. If they're under a dollar for too long, they'll pull them off the NASDAQ and they'll put them down to the OTC. Now, they will get a warning. They'll get about six months to get the price over a dollar for 10 to 20 consecutive days, and that'll get them out of the hot water. So we do want to see that price come up. So what is this company all about? Well, I've jumped over to the news press we're going to look at today, and they got a description here that says, Accorda Therapeutics develops therapies to restore function and improve the lives of people with neurological disorders. One of their drugs, Inbresia, is approved for intermittent treatment of off episodes in adults with Parkinson's disease treated with Carpidopa Levodopa. Embresia utilizes Accorda's innovative Arcus pulmonary delivery system, a technology platform designed to deliver medication through inhalation. So what was the relative volume around this company's juicy news today? Whoa, it's huge, folks. They went from under a half a million shares a day to over 124 million shares a day. I think that's like 250 times their normal volume. What a jump. Share structure. Well, they're going to have a decent float. I don't know what it is because they don't have it here, but their outstanding shares is under $25 million. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I didn't look this up prior. I'm going to go look it up now, and I'm going to throw it right up there. And if I can't find it, which happens a lot with these major exchanges, I'll put three question marks up there so you know I didn't forget. 
If you don't see anything up there, it means I forgot to go look. Sorry if that happens. All right, let's check our financials. You know a NASDAQ stock is going to be making some money. Yeah, they're doing about $129 million at the end of last year. We know it's millions because you got to take these three zeros and throw them behind all the numbers down here. But it looks like they have been falling for the last four years. They were up here at $471 million and have continually been dropping through the years down to that $129 right now. Quarterly. Well, they're still making money, still in the ball game, doing about $30 million every quarter. That is about $10 million a month. And they're getting to keep about $22 million of that. So not bad. Disclosures, well, we know their financials are gonna be caught up. They're on the NASDAQ. Uh, we're looking for 8Ks, just like that right there. That one came out today. Now, I'm gonna bet you this has something to do with the news press. They normally put a filing out when they have a news press. Not always, but often. On October 16th, 2022, a court of therapeutics issued a press release. So we're not even going to read this. I'm going to take you to the news. All right, this is the news here. This came out yesterday. A court of therapeutics announces $16 million award and royalty supply relief in Ampria arbitration case. A court of therapeutics today announced that a three-judge arbitration panel has issued a final decision in a dispute with Alchemist PLC, which is on the NASDAQ as well, ALKS is their ticker, regarding licensing royalties. Accorda was awarded $15 million plus prejudgment interest of $1.5 million. There's your $16.5 million from Alchemist. In addition, as a result of the panel's ruling, Accorda will no longer have to pay Alchemist any royalties on net sales for license and supply of Ampria. And Accorda is now free to use alternative sources for supply of Ampria, which the company has already secured. This award will allow Accorda to obtain more competitive market rates for the supply of Ampria, significantly reducing our cost of goods and meaningfully increasing the product's value to the company. So there's your good news, folks. They just got a bunch of money and it's going to allow them to go shopping for what they need at a better price. That was enough to get everybody excited. So I'm a little surprised. I mean, they are doing $10 million every month and this is 16. So it's like about a month and a half's worth of revenue. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but in the big scope of things, well, compared to what the chart is, I think the chart's over exaggerating it, but it was still a fantastic play. Is there anything left in it? I don't know. Let's go look at the chart. So we're going to be doing our charting on Thinkorswim. This is my free trading platform. If you like it, you want to back up to the one you got just in case it goes. <laughs> just run on over to TD Ameritrade, sign up for their free trading account, keep your account open. It's all you got to do. And they will give you a free TOS to use anytime you like. You got to love it. So we are looking at ticker ACOR. This is a six month, four hour chart. And we got a high bubble back here of $2.30. And maybe about two weeks ago, 10 days ago, we have a low bubble of 22 cents. That is over a thousand percent drop. And you can see where most of that drop occurred right there. She's been going sideways most of this time. Though she did dip right here down to that low bubble and has been bouncing off of it, but not with a lot of enthusiasm until today. Whoa, what a huge rip, folks. Houston, we have liftoff. I mean, this thing looks really hot. Look at these technicals, folks. Our PPO is going to the moon. This is the percentage price oscillator. It's a lot like the MACD, which is also going to the moon. Your PPO works with the percentage of the price. Your MACD works with the whole price. They're cousins. Our RSI is still on fire. And look at that volume, folks. There's nothing here to even compare to the volume she did today. It's incredible. Let's take a look at that 20 day, one hour view. <laughs> Doesn't look a whole lot different than the four hour. So she was roaming down to that low bubble. She's actually broke the 200 SMA on the one hour chart, but again, not with any real enthusiasm until today. And she started the day off early. Yes, right when the market opened at 4 a.m. Did you know the market opens up at 4 a.m.? It does on the major exchanges. And the fact of the matter is you and I can be there. 
Yes, we can. You don't need any special permissions or qualifications. All you have to do is make sure that you put extension in the time frame for your order. It's not a day order anymore, so you got to change day. It can be day plus extension, good till canceled plus extension, but you got to have extension in there or it'll just ignore your order. And she continued running after the bell and she hit a high bubble and it looks like she may have dipped a little bit from there, but everything is looking really, really hot on the one hour, just like the four hour. Let's take a look at that five day, five minute. Yes, she did start very early. Was that four? on the money i mean right at four people were standing in the queue to get this stock we had a jump a dip a jump and then it just went sideways the rest of the pre-market time and it looked like she was done climbing she had a lull after the bell no activity and then when it started it did not quit she just kept rising all day on her nine day sma like she was floating on a cloud she had one dip here and another dip here she's bouncing off of her 20 day sma right now as i said the volume is incredible and if you look folks all of her smas were flat and knotted together in here you can't even tell where any of them are but look at it now They've all spread out. They've all taken their places. Everything is looking really good. Now, the technicals do look cool right now. They're all pulling back. You can see that. I'm surprised to see she got this much love on this because it is $16.5 million, which is a lot of money. I know. I'm not saying it's not. But it is one and a half months of revenue for them. So, it's not huge. I mean, I'd like to have $16.5 million. So, how much love is the company going to get for that news? It has been running all day long. It is still kind of pushing right now after market. Well, I think it's worth a watch tomorrow. At least between 9.30 and 10, you may get yourself a out of it. Well, as life would have it, I have another penny stock on the NASDAQ to share with you. And coincidentally, it begins with an A as well. This is ALF. No, not that ALF. He's long gone. This is Alfi Inc. Alfi Inc. had some really interesting information today. And, well... I guess all I can really say is the market responded par for the course. You'll see what I mean. She finished the day at 28 cents with almost 11% gains. Now they were higher earlier. It was very active today. As a matter of fact, the charts were very active yesterday. There was a huge drop yesterday and for the life of me, I could not find the anti-catalyst which brought it down. And she was on strong recovery today. She had some more gains earlier, but she hit her head on that 200 day SMA and has been fighting it all day and right now after market hours she looks like she's about ready to break out again and continue on with that recovery and if she makes it back it is about a 200 percent gains so i thought i'd share alf with you now keep in mind alf is also on the nasdaq they've got the same problem with their price so they need to get that price up over a dollar sooner rather than later so what does alf i do Alfi seeks to provide solutions that bring transparency and accountability to the digital out of the house advertising marketplace. Since 2018, Alfi has been developing its artificial intelligent advertising platform to deliver targeted advertising in an ethical and privacy conscientious manner. They've got this smart screen that you can put anywhere you want. You may want to have them installed at tables at a restaurant or maybe inside an Uber or at a gas station. Advertising is huge money. People want to get their messages out there wherever your eyeballs are looking. Do you know they've actually got advertising now at the bottom of a golf cup hole? Yeah, when you pull your ball out, your eyes are looking straight down the hole. So they have an advertisement down there because you're looking down there. They gotcha. They know their business. So what was the relative volume around this company's interesting news today? Oh, you got to be kidding. Really? Holy cow, I was not expecting that sort of volume on this information. Incredible. She went from 165,000 shares a day for the last 30 days to over 17 million today. Incredible. Share structure. All right, I hope they got the float because I didn't look it up. All right, I'm going to look this one up for you as well. Hopefully, it'll be there. Uh, it's going to be a low float because their outstanding share count isn't more than 16 million. So, we're going to be under 16 million. Financials for this NASDAQ company. 
Wow, this one just keeps surprising me over and over again. I'm not used to seeing such little revenues on a NASDAQ company. $26,000 is all they made for the entire year last year. The only good thing I can say is it didn't cost them one red cent. They got to keep every single penny. I'm sure they needed it too. How about quarterly? Is it getting better? Yeah, it is. It is getting better. What was that? I got to go back. It seems I already forgot. 26 is what they did for the whole year. Well, they just did 63,000 for the first quarter of this year and 129,000 the second quarter. So things are picking up. That's finally looking good. Disclosures. So we are looking for an 8K because that's where the information is. We had an 8K come out on Friday. <laughs> It just occurs to me, folks. I just got done telling you that I couldn't find any reason why this fell. This is why it fell on Friday. This came out on Friday. Yes, it darn sure had a right to make the stock fall. And now the stock is bouncing back, and that's what's par for the course. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This came out on Friday. On October 14th, 2022, after considering all strategic alternatives, Alpha Inc. ceased operations and filed a voluntary petition for bankruptcy. Duh! Yeah, that came out on Friday. There was a huge drop on Friday and is par for the course. It is rebounding now. This happens over and over again with companies that say they are filing for bankruptcy on the NASDAQ. And then what happens is they fall down to the OTC because they're in bankruptcy. And then they get another surge down there because there's an entirely different audience down there. Why they want to make these stocks run after they announce a bankruptcy is beyond me. But that is what happens. Matter of fact, let me show you. Let's go look at that chart. Yes, we are looking at ALF, ticker ALF. This is a six month, four hour chart. Our high back here was $2.95 and our low, which looks like it hit yesterday, was 17 cents. Whoa, I'm not even gonna calculate that drop. It is huge. She has been under the 200 most of the time. She's fought it a few times, but really has been falling away. And yesterday, she fell really hard. Hit that low bubble, went sideways, and is starting to recover today. Lots of volume today, a lot more than there was yesterday. Now, I want you to take a look at my technicals down here. They're in bad shape. Everything looks horrible right now. Everything's in the basement pointing down. But what I want you to pay attention to is my PPO, the percentage price oscillator, which I always keep at the top of all of my tools, and then this ADX, the trend continuation tool. I keep this one right underneath my PPO because they create a a pattern between the two of them that I recognize for entry and exits on my stocks. You see how this, well, you know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to come down to the one hour because it just looks better. Perfect. You see how this looks like a mirror image? This line is coming way down. This line is coming way up and they're super close right here. Well, see that drop, that big drop right there? That's when that was dropping and that's when that was climbing. When they are coming together like that, the price is falling. Guaranteed when that PPO comes towards the ADX, the price is falling. And when they get real close, watch for them to start separating. As soon as they start separating, the price starts to rise, right? And we now have another fall behind that. And it looks like we've got some love being given here after market pushing it up. Let's take a look at that five day, five minute look. Huge fall yesterday, fell from about 82 cents all the way down to 17 cents. What a giant fall. Had a small bounce off of that. Aftermarket, pre-market, nothing going on. Bell went off, still nothing going on. And then it took off. Just took off from about 20 cents up here to 47 cents. You're looking at over 100% gains right there. Hit her head on that 200, as I said. She came back down, tried again, got over it, couldn't hold it, and now she's trying it a third time. And if you look at our technicals, we got a crossover right now on our PPO. These two are spreading apart, right? They are spreading apart right now. Our MACD has just had a crossover and crossing the signal line, and our RSI could use a little more oomph, but I do see something going on there. 
However, with this sort of situation, it's difficult to predict what's going to go on except for the normal activities that happen on the markets. When a NASDAQ stock says they're going bankrupt, there is normally a big surge a day or two days later. And then when they get pulled off of the NASDAQ because they've gone bankrupt and come down to the OTC, you get another run down there. Now, they don't hang around those gains very long, so don't hang on to these stocks. But keep your eye on ALF. It may give some more gains before it leaves the NASDAQ, and it'll probably give a nice pop when it comes down to the OTC. Last stock we're taking a look at is on the OTC market, and it is a triple zero stock to boot. Now, we normally don't look at triple zero stocks because they just don't move on the charts fast enough. I mean, they could literally sell billions of shares in a day and the price not move. I mean, it does move. It goes from like triple zero two to triple zero three, two, three, two, three, and it does that all day all week, all month. And that's why we normally don't look at triple zero stocks. So why are we looking at OTTV, Viva Entertainment Group today? Because she had a tier change and that's big information. She moved from Pink Limited where you go when you're late on filing. And if you don't get those filings caught up in time, they will yank you off the open market and put you on the expert. And you don't want that. They got moved to the safe zone. They're back up here to Pink Current. Now, I get this information every single day before the bell rings absolutely free here at the OTC Markets. You want it? I'll show you where you can get it. Come over here to Market Activity, click Corporate Actions right there, and it'll bring you to this page. But you're not going to see Tier Change listed anywhere on the page. It'll say Symbol Change or Name Change, something like that. Come up here to the very first arrow, click this. It is going to bring up a menu which you still can't see tear change on. You've got to scroll that down and voila, there it is down at the bottom. And it'll bring up this list for you. And every single day, they give you a list of stocks that have moved from one tier to another. Out of all the stocks in the market, you will see every single one of them here. Now, we're only interested in the ones that have been promoted, like going from Expert Market to Pink Limited. That is a big one, folks. Literally, you can get thousands of percent gains off of these sort of plays. So, come over here each morning, see which stocks have been promoted, make a list. There's about 20 of them here today. Take off the ones that got demoted. You're left with about 10. Put them on your list. Expert market to pink, pink limited to pink, whatever it is, these are the stocks that can give you nice pops. Like OTTV got today. She finished the day at 0008 with 100% gains. So what was her price before she started? 0004. That's not normal for Trip Zipville. You don't normally get four digit moves. So that's why we're looking at it. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of these stocks will give you one to three days of runs after they get into the safe zone. So that's why we're taking a look at OTTV. She is on the pink tier now. She is current. She's got a verified profile and a transfer agent verified. I tell you all the time, look for these green ticks. There's a lot of validated information represented by them. So we like to see these here. So looking at the business description of the company, Viva Live TV is the global entertainment and technology company that facilitates content owners and video distributors the ability to deliver premium content on any device with a screen. We have over 35 ad agreements with over 6,000 brands monetizing and many other interactive features. So what was the relative volume today around that tier change? She went from about two and a half million to 11 million. Not a bad jump for just a tier move. Share structure, oh my God, it's high. We got a little over a half a billion. But the reason I say it's high is there's not a lot of insider shares being held. 685 million outstanding, 684 in the float. Is OTTV making any money? Uh, no, not at the end of last year. Absolutely nothing. What about this year? Got anything going on? Well, they do. Uh, first quarter of this year, they made $2,000. And the second quarter, they made $61,000. That's a huge jump there, folks. That's like 30,000% increase. Not a lot of money, but they are starting to do it. And hey, look at that. Doesn't cost them anything for the money they make. That's what you get with digital products, digital services. Disclosures, anything new that we might be able to learn over here? Uh, no, they haven't got any SEC filing since 2021. And what about the news? 
haven't checked the news here actually uh no news since what's that august and august that was the last news they had and what was it viva entertainment group Viva Live TV Cage Bound Fighting Championship and Knockout Artist Promotions announces the most action-packed channel in history and kicks off with four title fights. I guess they're advertising for one of their customers. All right, let's go take a look at that chart, see the bounce, and see if it looks like she's going to continue to grow. I am thinking we might be able to get one more day out of this. Maybe. So we are looking at a six month, four hour chart for OTTV. We got a high bubble back here of 005 and a low bubble on the floor. The absolute lowest you can go, triple zero one. She had a great run back here. She went from triple zero two up to that double zero five. That gave her 2,500% gains. She kept a lot of it, but threw a lot of it away. She stopped falling when she hit her 200 day SMA here. She wrestled with that for a while and then lost the fight and is been underneath it ever since our technical show she has a little bit of strength she is trying to push up right now our ppo is trying to cross over our macd has just had a crossover and pushing up towards the signal line and there's a lot of push on the rsi let's look at our 20 day one hour view all right, she is stepping down, stepping down, as happens on the triple zip area of the charts. Zip being zeros. She came all the way down here to triple zero four, a low bubble, and is bouncing off of it from underneath the nine to on top of the 50 right now. Looking good. Technicals are getting stronger. We've had a crossover on our PPO pushing up crossover at the beginning of the day and now cross the signal line with our MACD and continuation in trend on our climb. Everything is looking nice. Five day, five minute. So she did hit that low yesterday and just stayed there all day. As soon as the bell went off today, she jumped, folks. In the first five minutes, she went from triple zero four up to triple zero seven. Took a little bit of a dip and then bounced up here to triple zero eight and pretty much has just held that all day. We got a new SMA on the board, the 50 day SMA. I would not be surprised to see it come down here and tag that. Though the technicals look like they want to continue, everything looks good right now. I would keep my eye on OTTV, not that I expect her to run for any catalyst, but coming onto the safe zone, pink current, that can be more important than you can imagine. So it is at least worth a watch tomorrow. You can get multiple days, one, two, three days of runs from these tier changes. OTTV, it could be a well. I wouldn't say any of those stocks had big catalysts. One's gotten some free money, about a month and a half worth of revenues. One has just filed for bankruptcy and one's had a tier change. But they're all giving money away, right? Not every stock has to have a mountain for a catalyst. All it has to do is get the interest of the investors. Remember folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.